During World War II, the United States did not have jet fighters in frontline service, but the country had made great progress in this regard thanks to its powerful industry. If the war had continued for a few more months, aircraft models such as the FH-1 Phantom jet carrier could have likely entered frontline service. As early as 1943, the U.S. Navy invited McDonnell Aircraft Corporation to participate in the development of jet carrier aircraft. At that time, the company had only been established for about four years, which showed that it had considerable strength in the U.S. aviation industry. The new carrier-based aircraft needed to use turbojet engines being developed by Westinghouse Electric Corporation. At that time, the engine technology had only made certain progress and was not yet successful. The aircraft and engine projects were almost carried out simultaneously. At the end of August 1943, the U.S. Navy ordered three prototype aircraft from McDonnell Aircraft Corporation, initially designated as the XFD-1, which later became the FH Phantom. For the designers, there were many challenges to solve with the early carrier-based jet aircraft, even sacrificing performance to obtain the ability to be deployed on carriers. The XFD-1 had a low single-wing twin-tail layout, with an aluminum hard shell structure and riveted aluminum skin. The leading edge of the wing had no sweep angle and was foldable to fit carrier spaces. The two engines were installed inside the wing root, which reduced the impact of torque compared to underwing engine nacelles, a common engine layout for early jet aircraft. The two engines of the XFD-1 were not installed in parallel but inclined outward on each side, with the tail nozzles located behind the wing root to avoid damage from high temperature gases. The aircraft used a tricycle landing gear to raise the tail and effectively solve the problem of high temperature exhaust on the carrier deck. To improve the aircraft's low speed performance, the rear of the wing had non-folding split flaps, and the aircraft was also equipped with rocket-assisted takeoff. This allowed the aircraft to take off and land on smaller carriers, and the higher position of the cockpit ensured visibility for the pilot. The aircraft's armament was relatively weak, with four 12.7mm machine guns mounted above the nose and the ability to carry eight 5-inch rockets under the wings. Frontline combat demonstrated that this firepower was insufficient, as fighters generally use 20mm cannons, and carrier-based aircraft also needed to have a certain bomb-carrying capability for multiple missions. The first prototype made its maiden flight in January 1945, but interestingly, due to insufficient engine preparation, it initially flew with only one engine. The overall test results were satisfactory, with the aircraft reaching a maximum speed of 805 km per hour. The Navy signed a contract for 100 fighter aircraft in March, by which time the aircraft had been renamed the FD-1, this contract later underwent some changes due to the end of the war. In 1946, the prototype successfully completed four takeoffs and landings on the USS Franklin D. Roosevelt aircraft carrier, demonstrating its success as a carrier-based aircraft. However, adjustments were made to the production model, such as adding an auxiliary fuel tank to the fuselage, a decelerator, a new site, and a new engine. During the production process, the U.S. Navy reorganized the letter designations, changing FD to FH, and the fighter was then known as the McDonnell FH-1 Phantom, with production continuing until 1948, including a total of 62 aircraft, including two prototypes. The early FH Phantom carrier-based aircraft had several problems, including the previously mentioned weak firepower and its short range of only 1,110 km. The muzzle flash from the nose machine guns affected the pilot during firing. The designers recognized this issue and developed a larger aircraft based on the prototype of the FH Phantom, which became the later F-2H Banshee carrier-based aircraft. The FH Phantom only had a brief service life and was also used as a demonstration aircraft. The McDonnell FH-1 Phantom carrier-based aircraft had an empty weight of 3,031 kg, a maximum takeoff weight of 5,459 kg, a length of 11.35 meters, a height of 4.32 meters, a wingspan of 12.42 meters, a single pilot, 
a maximum speed of 813 km per hour, a cruising speed of 399 km per hour, a maximum altitude of 12,500 meters, and a maximum range of 1,110 kilometers.